time I was going to play some Leandro stuff, and we could watch some Leandro uh, highlights together and talk about it, if you guys don't mind. So I pulled up this thing. This is just a highlight of him at, from Brasileiro at, like, 2017 or something, if you want to cue that up, Kyle. What are you guys thinking as you watch uh, Leandro do his thing here? Yeah, always intense. He, it's like your, what you said about the change game. Um, Leandro, I think, that was, changed that his was, game a lot, you know. Look at that double leg right back there. Yeah. On that, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was a back good on that, uh <laughs> Back on that time, he was doing double leg a lot, you know, with everyone, double leg, single leg. Right here in the lottie. You see that drag. handshake with the lottie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was a good fight. It's one of it's one of the best tournaments you fight ever, bro. Brasileiro? Yeah, I worked it last year, man. It's yeah. a, it's a different it's a different atmosphere, right? Like the the uh yeah. the environment there is awesome. The crowd is crazy, you know. The crowd the European is really nice show, but Bra Brasileiro, it's like people love to be there, people scream, you know, people scream your name and people really want to watch that match. People it's a different energy. And then you got, uh, well, Leandro's a Paulista, too, so he's probably got all his teammates and training partners there and everything. Yes, exactly. The who's same seed. Who's he got here? Who's that, Cardoso? Yeah. 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 Man, Leandro doesn't compete. Leandro fights. That's <laughs> that's the kind of... No, but that's the kind of guy that I like to... I stop to watch. Leandro, Preguiça, because I know it's going to be, like, fight. The other, like, a lot of guys, like, they fight too much playing with the rule to do you see like i like to see like that that i remember that final he and albert was like something man i never i never have felt that in a place the energy the whole place like watching the fight that was something amazing and they yeah, really that, fought go to the next one that's the next file i, I put up kyle go pull up the next uh the next uh file was is that that e -bar came on it's Herbert versus yeah, yeah. uh leandro from right. this from this tournament the final if you want to kill no, the yeah, next but, but that, that's uh R that's right here Gigon, the guy yeah man and man and man he's the funniest guy ever so he's <laughs> always <laughs> he's always a good time with him <laughs> Man, I bet. Oh man, they were probably going crazy for this one there. Yeah, oh, it was yeah. proud. Remember, like fifteen yeah, grand on the pot for this fight. He said fifteen grand. Yeah, because who win this fight would get the number one spot and get the oh. JJF. The, so that was the fight. The one I know now, like it was a couple fights before, but not the one that. But of course, the fights decided a lot because Leon was way behind, and when he won the open weight, he he got right behind, right next to Eber. Then they fought in Curitiba, and then Leon beat him and got the. I remember that. Yeah, this was the, the year when they were both after that number one ranking. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. You guys have both fought Herbert before. What's it like fighting Herbert? You got to be ready for anything, huh? Yeah, man. People think the yeah. guy's a, the guy is like yeah, the guy's a tough guy, man. People don't realize, but he's really dangerous. You can get hurt really serious if you don't pay attention. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, very ex very explosive and a lot of uh, surprising submissions like wrist lock, this type of things that uh, can hurt you even without tap. You know. I think uh, I fought Herbert yeah. many times. A lot of times I, I fought him. Most of the times I got something hurt. <laughs> like small things, but some, something hurt every fight, you know. That was classically... I remember one in... Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Keep going. I, I remember one in uh, Abu Dhabi. I was fighting him. I was um, winning with the 50-50 on the bottle. And I was just with the hand here on the 50-50 controlling the collar. And from nowhere, bro, he just, boom, throw the, the upper body on top of my hand, you know. I think he never did the submission, but he just saw, man, I'm going to get, I'm going to hurt him a little bit here, you know. <laughs> and then he, he go right away. And even if I want to step, I have no time, you know. So hurt and go back, <laughs> you know. So there was something. 
Something Leandro just did a little bit ago that's classic Leandro was when Herbert was getting close to passing and Herbert and Leandro stood up. Leandro's so good at that, right? Yeah, man. If he feel he, he never put himself in danger. If he see it almost getting there, he he finds a way to stand up or to get out, <laughs> to to find yeah. a way to get out of the situation. And I think this is w w one of the reasons Leandro is so good. You know, it's uh, in high level, like Bushesha said. One small step behind change the fight. You know, can cost you the fight and. Leandro knows exactly the positions and uh, the dangers. When he's almost getting one step behind, he always fight, 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 and go neutral, you know. He never one step behind. Yeah, I think that's Very something hard. that is underrated about Leandro. People don't, you know, everybody knows he's got heart. He fights so hard. He's a great passer, great guard. But his strategy, he's got a very underrated strat strategic mind because it's like, he wins so many close matches over so, over so many years at different weight classes, at lightweight, middleweight, medium heavy, heavyweight, for five years in a row or whatever. He's always, any any close match he was getting in, like you guys said, if it's a one advantage match, Leandro is going to take it. He's got such great strategy, right? No, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Here we go, standing back up. I think, I can't even remember how this match ended. It was, no, I I think it was the takedown. They they got the good double leg, huh? Yeah, I think it was two points something like that. Felipe, you think you'd ever go back and do Brasileiro again? I want to, yeah. Um, I want to compete the last uh, years, but uh, I remember I had some super fight or something very close, like one week before, one week after that uh, avoid me to do it but uh, uh, I want to do it just for the crowd <laughs> yeah. it's just for the energy you know I want to do it at least one more time is it a s almost out like a semi outdoor stadium is it hot in there or I mean what's 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 the atmosphere like it's no air condition <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. it's the real deal no air condition when you so, fight Brazil Buchacha. The energy is good in Asia, but... Buchacha, yeah. you, did you ever fight Brasileiro at Black Belt, Buchacha? No. My last time that I fought was 2010 as Brown Belt. Oh, okay. I remember I remember. I fought Leandro, then I closed out the open weight with Cara de Sapato. You fought Leandro, fought as, a, same, as, you fought Leandro as a Brown same, Belt at Brasileiro? Yeah, same final. Oh, open wow. weight and then i close out with cara de sapato nice. my my teammate we fought a couple of times me and leandro as brown belt i think twice and he was he was skinny and... back then that was that was skinny leandro man i remember back in the day uh they started paying a lot of tournaments like 1000 reais uh 1000 uh, 2000 maybe like 5000 and back in the day, that's a lot of money. And man, I remember everybody stopped competing in these tournaments because they knew Leandro would be there. <laughs> and be, and no, nobody wants to fight with the lightweight. So he, man, I remember Leandro got a lot of money these years because nobody wants to fight him. Even like tough guys, world champions, everybody was kind of like scared. Myself, I wasn't like, man, I don't want to fight this guy, you know, like, so I wasn't going. So I remember every weekend he was winning like two, three grand, like every weekend. So that was funny. What's it like? Uh, obviously, you guys talked a lot about training again uh, with him, Felipe. What's it like when you co uh, compete against Leandro? Uh, I compete against Leandro. Was uh, you mean on training or, or tournament? Tournament. Tournament. Last time I compete against him was. 2012, I think, or 2013, something like that. No, 2013 or 14. Uh, I competed him uh, two times in Copa Podio and one time in Rio Open. So, but uh, back in, in the day, like you said, his, his game changed, I think. He still, uh, his guard changed. I think yeah. more, more more his guard. 
uh, back in the day he used to do a lot of spider guard you know when he was lighter and uh, now he's always changing his guard game now i think he's doing color drag and lasso de la riva but yeah. uh, it's 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 the same that uh, I told you, you know. Like one advantage behind is a huge thing. <laughs> when he did the, uh, the when he used to do the spider guard on one side with the pan grip on the other side, that was I really lo- I really used to love watching him hit that sweep. He would hit that thing on everybody. Yes. Yeah. No. That was. He always do that. Was his trademark. <laughs> I think we got to get be getting down somewhere near the end here now, but. Uh, but you see, that's why I don't like ten minutes. It's it, it's a good fight, but it's still like a long time. Yeah, yeah. What do you guys think Even about being a good... about the belt tie thing? One one idea we had when we were running who's number one the event was uh, just le- leaving the belts off because so many times the match is, is stopped because they had to retie the belts and it adds adds minutes to the matches. What do you guys think about just leaving them off? I yeah, think if, you know. If, if, like, uh, ah, it depends. You I can think stop a lot like of every. Oh, no, five, five, come on. Falei. Falei, falei. Não, falei, falei. Falei, falei. Fale. Não sei mais velho. Ah, tipo, Here we go. There's Leandro getting in a shot. Get out here. Fala aí, cara. I told Bouchet. I told Bouchet, go Bouchet, you can't talk. No, you can't talk. No, yeah, bro, I'm going to say talk. go ahead, Bouchet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, bro, you older than me, you older than me, you, you go. <laughs> no, like, uh, no, being honest. Ai, caralho, fala. Tá foda. Vai lá, vai lá, man. Pode falar. Vai, vai falar. Então, um, I think if one time two times if you stop to tie the belt okay but if you stop like every 10 seconds then it's like then it's bad because the fight will stop all the time but of course sometimes you stop to tie the belt it's one thing but not like every 30 seconds you know what i mean how good are leandro's takedowns yeah. because people would normally think uh Herberth have a lot better takedowns but leandro stood with him a lot here in this match leandro's got pretty good takedowns huh yeah, like Fabio Gurgel called his uh, double leg the bar, double bar, double leg. You know, <laughs> the bar double leg. What do, What do you mean by that? Yeah. <laughs> like, like the standard, like, or like fight like of the bar. one that you do. Yeah, oh, at, you know, at a bar, bar fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a, like a street fight double leg. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's how, that's how Fabio Gurgel called his double leg. You know. <laughs> Oh man! But works, runs. man. But works. But yeah. works really works well. Works a lot. Works a lot. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Kyle. Maybe skip ahead like a minute or so. So, oh, so when we get to near the end, there goes that. He tried to get that bar double leg. Oh, bar double leg coming. Man, it works <laughs> though. Works. Yeah. That's not yeah, his fight, but he got like a. But he got a good one on Ebert, but I think it's another fight. Nice, nice X guard entry but there. But how is the score? Is zero zero? Or I can't tell. This sweep? Right, now he now he got the sweep. Yeah, nice, yeah. nice X guard sweep. That was that was really similar to the uh, sweep that you do a lot, Felipe. It was X guard with uh, two pan grips. Yeah, exactly. It's very similar. Leandro do this a lot as well in the single X. I see him sweep a lot of people with that. Now he's got the underhook. I'm I'm imagining he's going to knee slide here. Yeah. I don't remember if he passed. I think he almost passed, right? And the time finish. Got a minute Something and a half there. left in the match. Herbert's got the lapel. But at this point, Leandro can chill out because he's up 2-0. He's got Herbert in a bad spot. If Herbert's not trying to escape, he can just hold him for a minute and a half and, and win anyways. Right there, yeah. he's going to the knee slide. It's a classic Leandro position. Look at look at that look at the oh. ref. How excited! <laughs> Did we lose Bucheta? We might have lost Bucheta. Yeah, yeah he'll, call, he'll call back in. 
All right, we can go ahead and uh, probably kill that clip. I think that's about the end of it. Pacheco, call back in in a second. So, uh, Felipe, something that we want. Oh, there, there he is. There's Pacheco. So, uh, you missed it, Marcus. After your thing went out, he ended up getting the guard pass. Uh, Leandro got the guard pass one five zero. But uh, something I want to talk with you guys about is uh, for competition. I think people really like getting in the mind of uh, black belt world champions. I'd like to hear a little bit about how you guys prepare for big tournaments, and especially, like,